Center, where we are authors who are saving souls with books. And as you all know, we always get started with a soul message of God. And I cannot wait for you guys to meet our latest author. His name is Jacory Wally. And I cannot wait for you guys to meet him as we get started with the soul messages of God. So you guys stay tuned as we continue to be a blessing here in the Knoxville, Tennessee area. Now, a lot of you may say, where are you located, actually? Well, actually, we are located in the state of Tennessee. You're able to come and uh, view with us pretty much every week. We come on Wednesdays. You can view us on Kingdom Purpose TV. So we will be right back. And here is your song message from God. He's watching. Don't you know the God is watching. Jacory Wally, and uh, we are so excited to have you. And what I would like to do is if you would first start off by letting everybody know who you are and where you are located. Thank you so much for allowing me to be here. Oh, it's a wonderful pleasure. Uh, this is Jacory Wiley, and I am from Houston, Texas, but I'm originally right now, I'm currently located in Tallahassee, Florida. Wow. Now, a lot of people, as you know, we, we do this live on uh, the Souls Right House Authors Network. So those of you all that are watching, you're watching us live via Knoxville, Tennessee, nationwide on Kingdom Purpose TV. So those of you all that have devices, Roku's and that kind of thing, you'll be able to see this worldwide interview. But we're so excited to have you, Ja'Cory. So if you'll go ahead and just let a few people know the name of your book and um, some links of where they can purchase your book. Okay, okay. Uh, my first book is called Vision to Dream, um, which is about a young boy um, who loves to play baseball and all he wants to do is accomplish his goal of playing baseball. And he goes out and tries to seek out a baseball team and he runs into some adversity and, you know, a lot of people doesn't allow him to 
play the game because they view him in a certain type of way. And he ends up finding the game that is meant for him, which is called beat baseball. And, you know, it's just uh, another way um, for me to get my message out. And it's just another way for me to tell um, all the children and all the adults that, you know, it's not about, you know, everyone has a special way that they do things. You just have to find that special way that you meant to do it. And you can pick that up on um, Bars and Noble, um, Amazon.com. Um, the the audio is on All Sound. Um, I will be putting it on um, Audible um, as well as iTunes here um, very soon. Um, so there's just a few places where you can find it. Also, you can find it on my website, www.jacorawiley.com. Now, we do have up on the screen the Visions to Dream. Now, you do have that available for the people. Now, one of the great things I love about it is that you are able to um, actually go in. I got it on the screens for you guys, and you can buy it for $6. And I'm actually going to let you guys listen to a sample of Visions to Dream. Landon is a visually impaired eight-year-old boy who dreams big. One of Landon's goals is to play baseball. One day, he tells his mom, Mom, I really love and want to play baseball. She says to him, Landon, if you want to play baseball, go and do it. I believe in you. Landon excitedly grabs his bat and glove and goes off to play baseball. Now, the blessing that I got, and for those of you all, there on the screen here, you can see where Visions to Dream by Jacory Wallet. And it is narrated, and I've seen on here that it is narrated by, her name is Cassie Miracle? Yes, ma'am, Casey Miracle. Casey Miracle. So we want to say thank you to Casey Miracle. For those of you all out there in dreamland that might want to do your book in audio, you might want to look her up, you know? Uh, you want to also connect with Ja'Cory because that's what happens in today's time is that we are able to connect with one another and our visions and our dreams and primarily to what God has called us to do, which in this time is to some people have, uh, I have a friend who is visually impaired. So a lot of times with my books, when I come out with my books, I come out with my books where she is able to listen to the books. So can you go in a little detail to what made you want to do an audio book? Um, it was another, um, like I said, I am, I guess I should say, I am a author and a speaker who just so happens to be visually impaired. Yeah. Um, so my, my target audience, uh, a, a lot of my friends and a, a lot of the community um, that I've been involved with, um, they're visually impaired. And, you know, they're just, they wanted a way to support me as well. And they love to listen to my books and things like that. So I was like, man, this is, that, that was big for me. I had to have an audio for those who have been supporting me and things like that. And those who just might want to pop it on while they, you know, they're driving or, you know, their kids might want to listen to it while they're in the car or something like that. You know, we just want it to be mobile. We want to, you to be able to take it everywhere with you. Oh, and I love that. And that was one of the things we have here on the screen, the balling, Beyond the Wheels. Uh, tell us about Balling Beyond the Wheels. Uh, Balling Beyond the Wheels is my second book. Um, it's about a young boy named Joseph, you know, who really gets his love for the game tested, you know, when he goes through his uh, special, everybody has a special adversity that they go through in life. And it's not until it hits you, until you figure out how you're going to interact with it. It's about the way that you that you come through it on the other side, you know, either it's going to crush you on one side or you're going to make it to the other side and say that you was a stronger person for it. And Joseph finds finds out, does he really love to play basketball or is his dream over? And his parents end up helping him find a way to play his special game and keep going. And they let him know that you could do whatever you want to do. That is super inspiring. Now, this is, uh, for the most part, for those of you all that are watching, as you shared earlier, okay, you are a writer and an author who just so happily, as you say, has visual impairment, but it did not stop you 
from doing the will of God. So first of all, I commend you because sometimes people allow challenges to stop their purpose. And one of the things the Souls Right House and Private Center is to empower individuals that you have a calling on your life. And even though sometimes it may be like, well, how can someone with that type of challenge write a book? But it becomes to where you have visuals, you have audio, you have ghost writers. Uh, who in your life uh, and we're going to ask you guys when to come back with another song, but while we're gone, I want to uh, have you to be letting us know someone that is in your life that is pushing you in your greatness, you know, because everybody has somebody. We all have God, but there's always someone special in our life that helps us stay grounded and molded. And we're going to talk about that when we come right back. Okay. All right. And once again, Jacoby, let everybody know where you are from. Yes, ma'am. I'm from Houston, Texas, I, but I reside in Tallahassee, Florida. You better know it. Tallahassee, Florida in the house. And now we're getting started with another song message from God. I'm Stay tuned. This interview we'll be right back. Casey Girl presents American History. American History is a nine book series for children. The book series celebrates Americans past and present, like Mary Anderson, the inventor of the windshield wipers, Maria Talchiff, America's first prima ballerina, Kenneth J. Dunkley, the inventor of 3D film glasses, Guillermo. Gonzalez Marina, the inventor of color television, and so many more. The series, when purchased separately, cost $99.60. But order it now at authorcaseybell.com and only spend $80 with free shipping and handling. American History, a children's book series celebrating America's history. Author Casey Bell presents American History. American History is a nine book series for children. The book series celebrates Americans past and present like Mary Anderson, the inventor of the windshield wipers, Maria Talchiff, America's first prima ballerina, Kenneth J. Dunkley, the inventor of 3D film glasses, Guillermo Gonzalez come Marina, the inventor of color television, and so many more. The series, when purchased separately, cost $99.60. But order it now at authorcaseybell.com and only spend $80 with free shipping and handling. American History, a children's book series celebrating America's history. Now, we are back with Ja'Cory Wiley, and as we left earlier, and I was stating that 
to what you've been through writing a book at this point of your life, who has been a big cheerleader in your life to help you stay grounded and to complete the work that God has put in you? Oh, man, no question. I would have to say it's my fiance, my babe, Ashley. That's my babe. She she been holding me down for oh Lord, you know. So that's that's no question. I don't have, even have to think about it. You know, my fiance, you know, that's my rock, you know, that's that's nothing more important than when you're going through everything that you're going through, having a good support system or, you know, somebody that's going to empower you to make sure you know that, you know, that you can keep on doing everything that you can do as well. So, man, if you don't have it, it's <laughs> good. Hey, good. Hey, you write a book about Ashley. 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 Yeah. Because one thing that blesses me is that uh, I'm a mother that buried two children, and I'm a single woman right now. And so going through what I had to go through, uh, I've been divorced now for about seven years. And the hardest part was sometimes we deal with loneliness. And in your calling, sometimes you feel like you have to have someone with you in order to accomplish it. But then when you get people with you, everybody's not for your vision and dream. So kudos going up to Miss Ashley, who is holding you down, who is keeping you strengthened, who I even seen her in the midst of when y'all was getting ready, honey. She made you sure your hair right. Make sure <laughs> like I seen all that. Like God is so good. And we don't have that, especially in our black communities. We don't see a lot of unity with our brothers and sisters and especially in supporting dreams. So I just mad love going to her. We'll have a, we'll go interview her one day. We're going to bring her on our podcast. But some people don't like to get on TV first right off. We <laughs> may bring her on our podcast, just uh, having a subject that's talking about women that support their men because uh, we have our books go to inmates in prison. So one of the things I want you to know is that with your books, we get books to children that are incarcerated because one of the things God showed me is that we can reach these kids and get these books to these kids that are in lockdown facilities. That's the best time to get them because they don't have nothing else to do but read. Okay. And so I do want to partner with you on your books and we're going to come together and we're going to do a fundraiser. I'm going to get with you and starting in January, we're going to do a fundraiser to where we're going to get probably about three to 500 books to some children. Uh, we have a, a facility here called Mountain View. There's about 68 kids there. So we definitely gonna get 68 books to them immediately. So we're gonna come together with you. We're gonna look at the price of your book. And what we do is we're gonna come together with you, Ja'Cory, and first wanna get those books to those kids at Mountain View here in the state of Tennessee. But then one of your homework assignments is gonna be for you to start looking for some transitional houses where youth are, uh, some facilities where kids are locked down, you and Ashley. And what happens is we'll partner with you and we will help get those books to those kids. And what I do is when I call, I always find out how many youth you have so that that starts, the, that lets God go ahead and start immediately doing what God does. Yeah. Uh, sometimes people say, well, I don't know how to get them into prison. Most of the time you can't. If you're not a distribution company, you cannot get your books to inmates in prison. But the Souls Right House, we are a distribution center. We get the books to their libraries and we get them to every inmate. Because what I what I don't like to do is send one book out, that one book start right. It was help you get these books circulated and I want you to also think about getting them to the schools uh, start talking to schools in your area because then you can be a motivational speaker and start at the elementary level and get those uh, books in there and then also reach out to uh, org organizations that have disabled uh, citizens whether they're blind deaf whatever because then you're going to tap into a whole different realm and a whole different support that you're gonna to need to continue as an author. So we are super excited about the two books. So one book, which is, um, I got on the screen here, it's jacoriwiley.com, correct? Yes, ma'am, jacoriwiley.com. You got it, so I have it going across the screen, you guys, for all of you all that are looking for some wonderful children's books and audio books. You can go to jacoriwiley.com. Check out his book jingle.
you'll be able to go to his Facebook page, which I have put that information in for you guys to know. And so once again, uh, Ja'Cory, I just want to thank you. Um, and one of the things I wanted to ask you too, what inspired you to start writing? Uh, it was... This was the... I love to write. I love to be artistic. I love when my mind, you know, is creative and I'm a creative person by, by nature. So this was just another way, another avenue for me to be able to get my message out there. And it's very important to have different ways to get your, your message out. You don't want to keep doing something the same way over and over again. And, you know, people get tired of that, that way. You know, they look for fresh, new, innovative ways for you to get your message out there. And this was just another way for me. And who would you say is what you would like to target, your target audience? Who would you say would you like to be your target audience? Of course, first and foremost, my my target artist is my my kids because you know I love I love the kids and you know I was once a kid in a position not too far removed where you know the world was a big place that I didn't understand it and they didn't understand me and I just want the kids to know that you know there's people out there that do understand you. You don't have to be alone. You don't have to sit in silence and, you know, let things build up. You know, there are people that you could talk to, you know, there are different ways for you to, you know, um, have an outlet for you to get things off your, off your chest and off your mind and don't let them fester until they become a, a thoughts of building up on suicide. You know, that's what happened to me. And I, I refuse to let that happen to the kids, but also I always tell the adults, you know, you don't have to be a child to receive a message. You just have to be open-minded. It's all about the way that you approach the message that's being delivered to you. And if you gonna receive it, if it's meant for you to receive, you gonna receive it. Cause even adults have different things that we are struggling with and then, and my book will help you with that as well. You know, you just have to put it in your perspective. That's right. And that blesses me. And it blesses our audience. This is Sherry Lebon, and I am with the Souls Right House Empowerment Center. Have you joined the group, the Souls Right House Authors Network? Please make sure you go on Facebook and join. If you would like to be on TV or radio, it's only $25 to get your slot today. So go on our website at soulsrighthouse.com. Go to contact us and do step one, step two, and step three. And let's get you on TV to promote your book. God bless. And what we're going to do is we're going to pump this even more. We're going to get with you on a fundraiser to get this book to some inmates, to some children that are in inmates. And in the meantime, you'll be looking for somewhere in your area. Go ahead and get some books to some kids. So what God is telling me to tell you is go ahead and write down a number of how many books you want to get to some kids in your local area. And we're going to make it happen. All right. All right. We're going to make that happen. I'm all okay. about making it happen. <laughs> so you guys, I am getting ready to bring on. As we close, we're going to close out with, as you all know, we do the song messages of God. And when you go to our Facebook group, the Facebook group is called Souls Bright House Author Network. Make sure you go in there and join, post all your books, all your links. You can do that free in that particular group. And that group is where we're going to be pulling a lot of our author interviews. So we just want to thank you and Miss Ashley for being on our show today. Thank you so much for having us. We we enjoy being on, and I look forward to our future's endeavors together. You better know it. So you guys, y'all better get ready for Jacory Jacory Wiley, because we about to put him on the map. God bless you all, and remember, we are authors saving souls with books. Ooh, 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 ooh. Understand this, you will never leave me. Understand this, you will mess up sometimes. Understand this, you will never leave me.
You're listening to Song Messages from God by Sherry Labon Music. 